Adrian, very impressive component here. What is it? Okay, it's a front wheel hub for a student racing car. And did this, this is something that you designed or got involved in the design on and is programmed on Hypermill. Can we look at the original just before we get into the detail of the, the, the finished part, the new part? Yeah, sure. Hang on a second. So the original component, as you can see, is awful lot heavier. Uh, we did originally do this this part. This is this design came straight from the university, um, but you can see it's really quite weighty, and there's four of these components on on the car, and you can save some weight. So you got involved in the design of of the new component for the vehicle. There's four of them on the vehicle, so it's going to make it a lot lighter. Let's have a look at this again, and and we can talk about how quickly it was programmed and machined. Okay, sure. Well, on the the second revision, you can see it's, a, it's an awful much, it's an awful lot uh, lighter. It's uh, probably a third of the weight of the, of the original. So it makes up when you've got four of them on the car. Um, the idea really was to, to take a, a billet material, in this case, 400 millimeters in diameter, um, do everything possible on the machine tool, in this case, uh, an Integrex uh, machine tool uh, from Mazak. Um, you load the billet on one side of the machine, you do everything you can, you transfer it, onto the other side of the machine and you do the back end, you deburr everything and the uh, operator will then open the door and take off this actual part. So this part you see here is, f is how it comes finished from the machine tool. What's going to be on everyone's lips is how quick? How quick do you machine it? It's 20 minutes. From start to finish, 20 minutes from uh, what size billet? Uh, 400 millimeter in diameter. Have you any idea how much material you're removing? Because the lot, there looks to be a lot. Uh, there is a lot. I mean, we could work it out, of course, but um, it, it was it was really about just um, getting the part off as quick as possible. And at what sort of speeds and feeds is the machine machining at? Okay, whilst this is a very nice machine tool, um, it's actually not the top of their range. So this is a mid-base machine tool. So the RPM is, is roughly about 10,000. Um, you're, you're cutting this at probably about four or five metres a, a minute. Um, and it's really about um, metal removal. So actually... Um, not how fast the machine is, is going, but how much m material is really being removed. And there must be strategies involved in that that, that are created via the Hypermill software. What, what are they? Absolutely. The, the nice thing about this, um, this, this part is, is a lot of these features actually lends itself to turning. So uh, with Hypermill, you're able to turn and mill in the same package. So um, it's very simple to go from turning uh, to milling without different setups. Um, so you can use the best strategies you can. Uh, in this case, there's a lot of um, interesting areas, small radiuses and very deep pockets, which we use five axis in. Um, there's a few features in here that are almost impossible to, to find the right inclination uh, manually by user, but the software was able to position the tool in the right, right area um, to actually finish the part. I was going to say, you, you couldn't program that any other way than on a CAD CAM system? Uh, no. No, definitely not. And on that point, how long did it take to program? We know the machining time, but what about the programming? Okay, this was, um, the, apart from the iterations of going back through design, one of the nice things was that um, this part, this, or one of the, the nasty things about this design really was the fact that the, the design changed as we went through. Um, so there's several, several steps in programming. But this is probably about a day's worth of um, programming. And is the car complete now? Have you driven one? I haven't driven one. I'm not a student, but I would like. I would definitely like a going one. That's for sure. Thanks, Adrian. No problem.